Are you wondering why Iowa State House Republicans are enacting legislation to protect big corporations from civil suits related to its pesticide products? Let's follow the money. So we're talking about Bayer and Monsanto here, which Bayer purchased in 2018. They have collectively poured over $530,000 into the campaign coffers of Iowa state level politicians since 2002. Some of the biggest recipients include Governor Kim Reynolds, former Governor Terry Branstad, current Iowa Secretary of Agriculture Mike Nagg, Nagg's predecessor, the late Bill Northey, Iowa House Speaker Pat Grassley, and former Iowa Senate Majority Leader Mike Gronstall. While these sums are small for a company that had over $51 billion in net sales in 2023, Bayer has been on the losing end of several major lawsuits over over its Roundup Weed Killer, which has been linked to increased cancer risk over glyphosate, one of the product's key ingredients. The International Agency for Research on Cancer, a division of the World Health Organization, classified glyphosate as probably carcinogenic to humans. However, the EPA has not concurred with this declaration, which is the argument Bayer and some Iowa lawmakers have made to justify the necessity of this bill, although the EPA is often behind on this sort of thing. Bayer is pushing similar legislation in Florida, Idaho, and Missouri. Iowa Republican Senator Jeff Edler, a farmer, compared the lawsuits against Bayer to an attack on the agricultural community. Even though majority of the plaintiffs in the 165,000 roundup lawsuits are farmers or agricultural workers. Iowa would be the first state in the nation to implement Bayer's legislation should it pass the Iowa House and be signed into law by Governor Kim Reynolds. Read more over at Iowa Starting Line. Thanks for watching.